So today we'll be speaking about bifacial modules with transparent back sheets, which maximizes performance and reliability. My name is Max Green, uh, and I am a sales application engineer here at Jinko Solar. All right, so getting right into it. So our Eagle module um, product, product layout right now, um, of course, we have our residential modules, but today we'll be speaking about primarily the bifacial modules, excuse me, the bifacial modules, the 72HM G3. Um, so currently this is our, our uh, current product offering, 390 to 410 watts. And then our other bifacial module, which, which my colleague spoke on in another video, that is our TR technology, our 78TR uh, G4B, and that is also bifacial. And that will be available in Q2 of 2021. Okay, so getting into the product itself. So our Jinko bifacial product overview. So it uses a 158.75 millimeter square cell to achieve the higher power and efficiency. Um, and of course, this is our tra transparent bifacial back sheet. So with the bifacial technology here, we are able to achieve upwards of five to 25% more energy gain. With the half cell technology, <clears throat> Compared to full cell, this uh, reduces the risk for hot spots in the modules and in the cells themselves. So, of course, the five to twenty-five percent energy gain that does improve your return on investment because you're able to achieve more power on the back side of the module compared to monofacial modules. Also, uh, speaking on our on our uh, bifacial module, the low weight uh, when comparing it to glass on glass modules is quite significant. Um, our module is, is uh, more comparison uh, to our monofacial module, uh, so the weight is, is very comparative there. So we also use a very reliable and easy to clean Tedlar back sheet. So uh, that's the DuPont Tedlar film. And then something else I want to uh, speak on is our linear performance warranty. So we offer a 30 year performance warranty here. Uh, we expect to see 2.5% degradation uh, in the first year and 0.55% degradation every year thereafter. And then also, of course, something I wanted to mention here is that this product, uh, our G3 bifacial product, was an InterSolar award winner last year in 2019. <clears throat> All right, so uh, bifacial technology. Of course, the benefit from bifacial is uh, compared to monofacial is that the bifacial cell is able to collect the power on the back side of the module. Of course, on the monofacial module, uh, the, the power is only able to be collected on the front side. So of course, the back, the, the back side gain does vary depending on the albedo. Um, from Jinko's testing, um, we have found that white paint um, underneath, you, you see uh, the highest reflectivity and the, the highest gain um, on the back side of the module. Uh, you can also have sand as your albedo, cement, grass, and water. Um, of course, all of this starts to increase your land savings, uh, your BOS savings, you have more power, and then broad energy production shoulder. <clears throat> so starting to get into weight advantages. So a transparent backsheet bifacial module is comparable in weight to a monofacial module and is significantly lighter than dual glass modules. So this lowers logistic costs, lowers installation costs, and lowers the BOS costs involved in, in any solar system. So the main takeaway here is as you know, competitors and as um, module manufacturers, the wafers and the module sizes tend to grow. The dual glass modules, the weight of these dual glass mo modules also increase and grow. So this is not a very practical process um, when, when increasing the weight on all of these modules. Okay, so getting into the mechanical properties and the advantages uh, here. So comparing the bifacial, our bifacial with, with a transparent back sheet and uh, competitors bifacial with dual glass modules. So Jinko uses a 3.2 millimeter tempered glass. So we only have glass on the front side and then we have the transparent back sheet on the back side uh, rather than having another slab of glass on the back side. So that is how we are able to incorporate the, um, the lighter module here in, in our solution. 
So when you compare that to a dual glass situation, they typically have 2.0 millimeters on the front side, and this is heat strength in glass, and also they have 2.0 millimeters on the back side. So it's 4.0 millimeters of glass on um, some of our competitors' mo modules. So of course the features um, of the front side glass, it is tempered and it has a much higher impact strength. Um, so for dual glass scenarios, the front side glass is 2.0 millimeters, heat strengthened, and has lower impact strength. So Jinko has gone above and beyond, and we went ahead and did third party hail testing, um, and we learned that we have superior hail durability with our 3.2 millimeter tempered glass. And then of course, with the dual glass scenario, I mean, it's a, um, a much thinner 2.0 millimeter uh, glass on the front, and it has weaker hail durability. Uh, this comes into play for investors because as hail storms start to increase, um, this is a big issue for um, investors when they start investing and in looking into solar farms. So using the 2.0 heat, uh, heat strengthened glass is compromising to glass quality where it matters, the front of the module. So our 3.2 millimeter tempered glass has superior properties and is industry proven. Handling related damages increase with thinner dual glass as well. All right, so we also have an anti-UV advantage. So as you know, ultraviolet radiation has a direct long-term impact on module performance. DuPont transparent back sheet blocks a majority of the UV contribution from the irradiant spectrum. Average transmittance is about 89 to 90% lower compared with dual glass. So as you can see down here, our rear side power degradation after UV, uh, Jinko's bifacial is about 1.33%. And then our competitors are closer to 2.7%. All right, so another uh, key aspect to our bifacial module is with the Tedlar back sheet of DuPont is the resistance to saline alkali corrosion. So we are able to, with our uh, more durable back sheet, it's able to um, further uh, handle any you know, saline or any salt you know, corrosion, corrosive environments, like by the seaside, um, greenhouses, saline alkali soil. And you can also see in these photos here, um, dual glass after 95, 96 hours, excuse me, of salt mist test. And you can see the corrosive spots all over the cell and the module here. And then in comparison, our transparent back sheet after 96 hours of the salt mist test, no visible spots whatsoever on the cell or the module. All right, so another key aspect of our, of our uh, G3 module is the lower operating temperatures. So because of our, um, uh, because of the DuPont Tedlar back sheet, the bifacial modules with this transparent back sheet have lower operating temperatures, thereby increasing energy production compared to the, the dual glass scenarios. And this brings us to higher energy generation. So uh, just getting into this slide right here. So the sand fixed installation is looking at about a 0.85% increase. A sand tracker is looking at a 1.62% increase. Cement fixed tilt installation is 1.81%. And then cement fixed installation for intype is 1.85%. Um, takeaway here is that bifacial with transparent back sheet in four different kinds of field tests shows 0.85% to 1.85% higher energy generation compared with bifacial with dual glass. This is a huge increase in production um, when you start to look at the large utility scale um, farms. So uh, of course in um, reliability testing, so PVL PQP, um, so Jinko for the past four years at least has been one of the leading if not the top PVL performer um, the PVL scorecard is publicly available, and you can see all of the green dots. How Jinko is one of the highest and top performer in most of the of most of PVL's PQP testing. And this is all of the other tier one bifacial manufacturers on this table as well. Um, so that was my presentation. You can also take a look at our uh, modules at uh, EagleModules.com. Um, and yeah, feel free to reach out to us. We're always available. Thank you.